Good morning, Grand Middle School. Today is Tuesday, October 15th. Happy National Cheese Curd Day. Go out and eat some cheese curds. It's 2 30 for dismissal. I'm your host, Melody, and this is my co host, Lynn. Let's make it a terrific Tuesday. Be mindful of what you do. Keep making those good choices. We're the cafeteria ladies cooking up first today. Taco on whole grain tortilla or a max and max stick with refried beans. Remember, no food is allowed in classrooms. This is an expectation for students of all classes. We will not use passes during class. If a student needs to go somewhere, please go ahead of time. Restroom breaks, please call an escort if it's an emergency. Now, there, here's some information for on the safe lunch protocol. A student can always utilize a safe lunch if feeling unsafe or overwhelmed. Safe lunch is for the whole lunch shift. Students will report to the cafeteria for food and then get a safe lunch pass. An admin will direct the student through the line. Each student may bring one friend. A safe lunch is not a punishment, but a way for our students to stay safe during an unstructured time. Safe lunch locations for 6th grade is in room 227, for 7th grade in room 123, and for 8th grade is to be determined. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Goss in the office across from the library. Be sure to continue signing up for Learning Lab today and Thursday. Your advisory teacher will share the sign-up link in your advisory class. Students can ride the activity bus from Learning Lab from the Learning Lab. Again, students must sign up for Learning Lab by noon today and Thursday. Enter retake day is October 24th. Forms are in the bookcase across from the across the hall from the library. Students that need them should go grab them between classes. Now let's see what's happening in GMS Sports. Thank you. Palms practice at 2.30 today. Cheer practice at 2.30 from 4 o'clock. The practice is from the, the practice is from 1.45 tomorrow and 2.45 on Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7th and 8th grade boys have a bas- have basketball at 6 p.m. Thursday, volleyball girls have an open gym on Thursday at 6 p.m. Thank you. The dress code is and always will be in effect. Jackets, coats, purses, and phones are not in line of class. You will need to put them away into your lockers. Now some activity announcements. Thank you. The Halloween dance will be after school on October 30th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $5. Students can have no referrals from October 14th to the 29th if they wish to attend. Ticket sales will be by the week of the dance. You may wear a costume, but no mask can cover face. There will be costume contests for various areas. It's always a great time. There will be jazz band today at 2.30 p.m. Be sure to keep earning and saying and saving those purple positives from your teachers. Students can earn these by following expectations and showing kindness to one another. Buckets are currently in the library for each grade level. However, web leaders sometimes will be around to collect the purple positives from from you in the classroom. If you put your purple positives in these buckets, you could be chosen for out of the blue prizes. Stay tuned. Now back to our hosts. Get involved. If you have an idea about a club you would like to join or want to start a new club, talk to Mr. Goss. Once you are in a classroom, you cannot leave without a pass. Do not leave your stuff in the classroom. You are in middle school. Please use your locker. All these expectations are posted on the house rules in your classrooms. When you come to school, go through the west door. Take all middle items out of your bag and put them in a basket. This includes binders, Chromebooks, water bottles, etc. Remember to expect others properly. Properly. Remember to expect to respect others' property and keep your hands to yourself when going to and from school. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's joke is how do ghosts do their makeup? How do ghosts do their makeup? Mm-hmm. I don't know how. These vanishing cream. Huh? These vanishing cream so they can yeah. vanish. You can't see ghosts, bro. 
Oh, that was bad. But hey, check this out. My friends tell me that I make too many graphs, but that's where I draw the line. You get it? Because you have to graph two points. The math department will appreciate that. If you have a joke you want to share, email it to Ms. Shout or write it down on a piece of paper and place it into the her mailbox outside of room 108. Our idiom today is that every cloud has a silver lining, meaning good things come after bad things. For example, when the fire happened two years ago, few people can see the silver lining. Today's vocabulary word is austere, meaning severely, severely simple. For example, the house was freezing and austere. Any birthdays? Yes, Stephen Wilson in eighth grade. Happy birthday! Remember to take your Chromebook home and get it charged and have a great day at Grant.